Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecturer in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to create and modify a sunburst diagram in Excel 2016, part of Office 365. So before we start, let's take a look at some data. A sunburst diagram is most useful when we are using hierarchical data like you see here. These data, by the way, are taken from a Microsoft Office blog post called Breaking Down Hierarchical Data with Tree Map and Sunburst Charts. The link is at the top of the spreadsheet here. And we can see in column A the main genres of books uh, in a bookshop. And some of these genres have sub-genres, sub and some of the sub-genres are further broken down into topics. And then we have the revenue for each category here. So we have hierarchical data. If I could just highlight the children's books for a, for a second and take a look at those, we can see that the children's book genre is broken down into four sub-genres, and one of those sub-genres is further broken down into three topics. And in our column D, then we have the revenue in dollars for each of these. So I'd like to be able to visualize these data in a hierarchical format. So let's go ahead and do that. So first off, select all the data. So I'm going to select from cell A1 down to cell D29. So I'm selecting all the genres, subgenres, topics, revenue, and the headings. So I'm basically just selecting everything that's on the spreadsheet here. Then choose the Insert ribbon across the top of Excel, and go over then to the Chart section and uh, click on the down arrow here in the bottom right hand corner of the chart section called see all charts and that will bring us up some options here now we don't have a sunburst chart appearing on the recommended charts so we need to go to the all chart section and down along the left hand side here we can see fifth and bottom is an option to create a sunburst chart so click on that and we can see a miniature of our sunburst diagram here on the right hand side go ahead and click OK there's only one option available to us here so now my, sun chart, my, my sunburst chart is created. So I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger so we can see what we're doing. So we could stop here. This is our sunburst chart, but we're going to need to make some modifications to it to make it more useful. The first of these is I'm going to give the chart a title. So I'm going to call this uh, Book Sales. And I'm also going to make this um, heading a little bit bigger. So I'm going to check on the Home ribbon and change the font size from 14 up to, say, 24. So that makes it a little bit more uh, useful. We can see then that Excel has added in some colors for each of our categories. In the center circle here are our main genres. Okay, so we can see children's books here, for example. Then the s next level outside of that then are our sub-genres. So we can see age three to five, preteen, baby books, and age six to eight, uh, as in column B for children's books. And then we can see then that the topic then, age three to five, is broken down into first readers, ABCs, and Tolstoy for tots. So in this chart here, I can select any particular area uh, to highlight that and de-highlight the other areas. Uh, so click it again to, to uh, select a small piece, click again to bring everything back. So I can use this to concentrate on particular areas should I choose my diagram. This might be very useful in a presentation. The next change I want to make is I'd like to add a legend to this to make the chart a little bit more useful to people who may not be able to understand what a sunburst chart does. So I'm going to click on the design ribbon under the chart tools here at the top of Excel. And over on the very left hand side there is an add chart element. So select the down arrow here and this gives us an option to choose a legend and there's various options here as to where the legend might appear. Uh, I think it might look quite nicely over on the right hand side so I'm going to select that there. So now we've got an interesting legend here because also you can see some of the smaller genres, um, the font is too big or the pieces of the diagram are too small to see exactly what they mean. So I can see the grey one here and look at the legend and that's computers and the internet genre. Um, the next thing I want to do is uh, ch just change a value. Uh, one of the things about a sunburst diagram, uh, it does not show the actual values. So nowhere on this, for example, do you see uh, the first readers, if I just highlight it here. First readers, if I go over to my uh, uh, table over here. It's a children's books. Uh, it's part of the age 3 to 5 subgenre, and then it's the first reader's topic. And we can see that that's $24,514. So that figure doesn't show, and there's no option to show that on the chart. So what I'd like to do is um, um, we, we can determine, uh, in a way, the values and the relative values in the hierarchy by the size of the section. And just to illustrate that, I'm going to change one of the values. So children's books, age 3 to 5, ABCs, uh, revenue is $17,777. let us just make that $10,000. 
so that'll make it a little bit smaller so now before I make I hit return to make the change notice here on the right hand side we've got a hierarchy here a large piece for first readers the next biggest piece is ABC and Tolstoy for tots is the third biggest piece so if I reduce the amount for ABCs we can see both that the size of the piece for ABCs changes because it's a smaller amount and also its hierarchy has shifted down it's now a lower amount than Tolstoy for tots just let me undo that change, bring it back to where it was. So that's how you create and make some modifications to a sunburst chart in Excel. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.